Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland for Graphic in Motion. Today I want to present to you my new template which is called the Logo Sketch Reveal. And this tutorial will show you how to customize this template in a few easy steps. So let's begin by importing the logo and therefore we move to the logo composition right here. You can also find all the compositions up here in the project window and I go to File and import file and I will just select this logo for now and I will drag it on top of my placeholders here and I will press S and scale it down so that it has approximately the same size and I will just move it up a little bit like this is fine and now I will disable my placeholders the next thing we have to do is to set up our logo so that we can make the stroke and the scribble animation. Therefore we move to the next composition which is called the logo setup. And here we just select our logo layer and we go to layer and auto trace. And now you can see that After Effects automatically creates some shapes that form our logo and this is exactly what we need to drive the stroke and the scribble effect in the next step. So if you have a logo which includes a nice alpha channel like my logo does here, these settings will be okay for you. So you have to check that the channel is set to alpha channel, that there is no blur before auto trace, the tolerance you can set to one pixel, the minimum area also one pixel, the threshold for 99% and the corner roundness for approximately 50%. You can change this value a little bit depending on how detailed or how big the shapes in your logo are. So for an alpha channel logo this is a perfect setting. If you have another logo for example some kind of a circle which is filled with different colors then you probably want to use the luminance channel to trace. Just select the luminance channel here and then you have to play around with the settings especially with the tolerance and with the minimum area so that you get the right result but I will stick to my alpha channel settings for now and I will just take a look that apply to new layer is checked, which it is. And so now I can press OK and After Effects creates a new layer with all my shapes turned into masks. So the next thing that we want to do is that we want to rearrange the order of the masks a little bit. So we select our auto traced logo layer here and press M to reveal all the masks. And now I will just select all of them. So select the first one, move to the bottom, hold down shift and select the last one and close them because then we have a little bit more room to work. And now I just want to rearrange the order because the scribble and the stroke effect, which we will use in the next step, are taking a look at the order of the layers here and I want to be sure that my logo animates in from left to right. You don't have to do this if you want your logo to animate in randomly then you just can skip this step but I just want to rearrange them very quick. So let's just take the first mask here and now I will just move outside and then you see that my cursor changes to this rectangle tool and then I just click and drag and I just select all the layers in the first part of the animation. And now I see that this is the mask number 7 till mask number 16 and 25 and 26. So I want them to animate in at first. Therefore I just drag them to the top here. Now the second part I want to animate is this big in here. So I will just select one of these masks and again use the rectangle tool to select all the other masks here. And I will take a look and this is exactly number mask number one to six and they are already in the right position after my last mask from this part. So I can move on to the next part and I select the mask and again with the rectangle tool select all the other masks and I take a look and you see that this is already set up in the right order so I don't have to make any more changes. The next thing we want to do is that we want to copy the masks to our stroke and scribble effects. Therefore you just select the first layer, 
and move down to the bottom, hold down shift and select the last one and then you go to edit and copy. And now we are done in this composition and we can move forward to our stroke composition. In this composition we have the stroke animation and you see that this is still forming our placeholder and I want to replace the shapes on this layer now with my new shapes so therefore I just select my green layer here which is called the logo stroke animation and I will press M then I will just select all the masks on this layer and delete them and now I will select my layer again and go to edit and I go to paste and you see what's happening now is that the shape from my logo is inserted here and it's drawn from left to right exactly as I wanted it. Um, what I could probably do here is that I decrease the brush size a little bit because my Graphic in Motion logo is a little bit smaller and more detailed than the placeholder. So I will just go to the Effect Controls panel here and set the brush size to about 3. Or I could also set it to 2. But I think this is too small. And sorry, this is only because of the half resolution. So I will set it to 3. I think this is quite good. Yeah, perfect. So now we move on to our scribble composition and we have to do the same here. Just select the green layer, press M, delete all the placeholder masks and now go to edit and paste. And you see now we have here the scribble animation also forming the logo from left to right. Well, this is it for customization. The next thing that we can do is to check our render comp and you see that everything fits together perfectly and that the animation works and here the 3d logo is revealed so everything is quite good so one more thing you know that i already included uh, some sound effects in this template so this this writing sound and also the paper tearing and the paper falling are already included here in this layer but if you want to use music as I did in the preview video then I created a music composition and you can just drag in your music you already know how this works you go to file and import file and then move to your folder where you have your music um, I will do this very quickly now and then I just drag my cinematic logo intro 5 which is also the song that I used for the preview video you can find the link in the item details or also in the download I included the link and then you just can go to your render composition and you can render it out and you are done so thank you very much for watching this I hope that you like the template I hope that you can use it for some nice animations and I really hope to see you soon bye audio jungle audio jungle Audio Jungle